This is the first exhibition that Herzog of Bavarian had anywhere in the world, really a major exhibition since um, 2004, when they had a show in the Turbine Hall at, at Take Off, which also travelled um, to a couple of their other venues around Europe. So we're really excited to, to be able to sort of host this um, quite major show, which is part retrospective, but mostly focusing on their current work and sort of future priorities. Um, so it's, it's quite good to do a little intro here because when we, as you'll see, once we get into the show, we, are, we will be totally immersed in uh, another world. Um, and um, so just to get a few words of introduction, Herzog and de Neuron was founded in 1978 by Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Neuron. Um, they, uh, they grew up together, they were friends from primary school growing up in Basel and um, they set up their practice together very interested in the work of artists. They've collaborated briefly with Joseph Boyce and then they've, they've developed very good relationships with other artists, like Thomas Ruth and Andreas Gursky, whose work is also in the exhibition. Um, they, uh, they have a, a very deep interest in film as well, and you'll see that's quite a key part of the exhibition. Um, it's, very, it's quite difficult to sum up Herzog and de Muren in terms of an architectural style. Um, you'll see that they, you know, their buildings are so diverse and so different, and um, I, I would say they don't really have a signature style. The thing that is amazing about them is that they pro approach every project almost, you know, with a, sort of a clean slate, a blank sheet of paper, in the sense of not bringing preconceptions. pick up the green dots in it and it leads you round in different spaces in the, the hospital. But it's a really it's a really quite fun way to get an idea of what it's gonna feel like. And given that it's a children's hospital it, it's a wrong entrance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a door. Oh yeah. Do you have to follow the green dots? Yeah but I'm really bad with colour up. model of a building in, in Basel called Rehab, which is a rehabilitation centre for people with um, spinal and brain injuries. And it's a project that dates to 1998. Um, it's really before they were using digital models like this. So you can see the models are very basic and quite rough actually. In this case, they were trying to figure out the design of the therapy pool, which sits at the centre of this building. And they wanted to they wanted to have this idea of a, a sphere, um, a, a, a sort of imaginary sphere above the building which would track the path of the sun um, so that they could bring sunlight into the pool uh, at all times of day and all year round. And so there are these small roof lights. And what the digital model overlay shows is the way that the angle of the light relates to this kind of imaginary um, geodesic dome that's above the 